from England in the United Kingdom. I'm back with another video for Gel Press Print Project Series. Today I'm going to be showing you a really simple print technique because I think that not everything has to be complicated to be really effective. So it's a very, very simple technique. Smooth like card is great for printing on, but you can also print on cereal boxes. I'm gonna have a go at printing on some balsa wood. And tea bags. Fantastic. You empty the tea out, use the tea bags. Um, chipboard or mount board shapes. You get these in many manufacturers make these. And this is a drinking cup I found in a, in a shop in a big department store. I like the shape of it so I'm going to have a go at printing on this. So come and join me, let's have a go at printing on anything and if you're not sure if you can print on a surface I would say have a go. One of the great things about gel press printing, mono printing, is that you can pretty much print on anything. So today I've picked out a whole variety of things I'm going to have a go at. This is just the back of a cereal box. I've got some chipboard shapes. I've got a couple of tea bags. This one you can see is a, a new one that you can buy on the internet, so it's quite pristine looking. Here's a used tea bag, dried, and I've cut a hole in the back and uh, mostly tipped out the tea leaves. I've got a long strip of Ranger grunge board and I've got some shapes from Joggles. These fabulous little shapes make great additions to your craft projects, journal pages. I've got a random piece of balsa wood, uh, more chipboard shapes and these, I've got no idea if this is going to work, but these were uh, drinking cups that were in a shop that I was in with my children yesterday and I thought, oh, I'm going to try and print on those as well. So I'm going to try a random selection of things. Some of it will work, some of it may not work. One of the things I am going to do is these darker shapes. I'm just going to put a little bit of gesso on before I start printing. I'm going to use my large gel press today. I just like that larger size to work on. It means I can probably print several small things in one go. And I've got ready anything that I have close to hand for adding texture and pulling paint off the plate. So I've got some Tim Holtz Sizzix um, embossing folders and Carabelle Studio fabulous texture plates. I've got a bit of corrugated card, some packaging, and maybe even some stamps to take some paint off the plates. I'm going to use Dina Wakely medium paint so you can use any and I'm going to try and do some really multicoloured background so that when I take small prints off I'm getting a lot of colour. Now the colours I've chosen, when you choose next door neighbour colours on your colour wheel you're always going to get nice harmonious combinations because these will just blend to make nice shades of orange but it's adding these opposite colours in that makes the whole thing pop. As soon as you cross the colour wheel you've got the potential to make mud or a bit of brown on the plate but by working on this bigger area I can just go in and select the nice colourful bits that I, I like the look of. You can see I'm working in lots of small dots of colour. Now I'm just going to remove some of that paint with some of my texture tools. And here's my little Joggles butterfly. Prince. Same again, lots of dots of colour. I'm trying not to overbrave it so it doesn't just become one overall colour. I'm still keeping distinct areas of 
for the pointed cup experiment. I've no idea if this is going to work, so I'm not sure how I will get paint all the way around. But when you see something like that up for grabs in a shop, you've got to have a go, haven't you? So in the spirit of having a go, I'm thinking if I roll it, it might work. Ah, pretty cool, eh? Hey? On everything now. There's my tea bags, there's my bolster wood, there's the roof of the house. There's still a lot of work to be done on these but I've got those really bright colourful layers to start with. If you come and join me in part two I'll show you how we turn something like this into something like this. See you soon! Mm -hmm.